When it comes to smoking weed should you puff puff pass or puff puff go? It's a common thing for many people to take weeds nowadays. It is even legal in many countries. From the age of 16 a person can use it. Because apart from the suiting of your nerves, it also has its medicinal purposes. It can help in treating seizures associated with too rare and severe forms of epilepsy. On the other hand, many detest it. It also comes with severe heart failure or brain disorder. Why it's highly recommended to watch out. But in this video we are talking about taking weed before or even after gymming. Is it good for you? Will you endure the heavy stress longer? Will you last longer while doing a deadlift? Stay tuned in this video we will be answering this. Before I begin I'm not here to encourage anyone to either smoke or not smoke weed. What you do with your time is your own business, and I believe that people should be able to do whatever they want with their bodies as long as they aren't harming anyone else. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy it. If you ask most fitness experts about this subject or look it up online, you'll usually get a very standard response. Bodybuilding and marijuana don't mix. You'll experience food cravings and overindulge, lose motivation and skip workouts, and ultimately feel lethargic and productive. But are they right or aren't? What is your opinion? Let us know in the comments section. A research was made using PUB Med, Medline, and Embase searching for the effects of weed in sport and exercise. People from rehabilitation or health screening programs were used to conduct the research, and the adverse reactions in the marijuana group were identified. It was found that none showed any improvement in aerobic performance. The exercises induced asthma was shown to be gained. But in terms of positive effects, two studies found that the marijuana taken caused a lower workload of 100%. An important finding relevant to drug testing was that aerobic exercise was shown to cause only very small rise concentrations. The relationship between weed consumption and muscle building is a multifaceted topic that warrants careful consideration. While some components of marijuana can enhance workout experiences by reducing pain and stress, thereby potentially facilitating muscle growth, the effects can vary widely among individuals. On one hand, Cannabinoids like THC and CBD may possess analgesic properties that could alleviate discomfort associated with intense workouts, enabling individuals to push through their limits and engage in more rigorous training sessions. Let me explain both the positive and negative effects of taking weak for workout. Then you could make your choice. Many believe that we can grow your muscle because of its reported ability to increase appetite and promote relaxation. There is no report of it increasing your muscles. These potential effects actually indirectly support muscle growth. For instance, marijuana's analgesic properties could stop pain during your intense workouts, allowing you to recover more even more effectively making you to train even harder. And you know the result. Muscle growth. Now the negative effect there are as low many dangers are also caused from using weed for muscle growth that could harm you. Apart from the muscle aspect you will become prone to other illness, especially if you use it a lot. First of all, marijuana use can slow down reaction times and coordination, which raises the possibility of accidents during exercise. Plus, regular usage may worsen respiratory conditions brought on by smoking, which could lead to bad lung function and your aerobic capacity. And lastly everyone gets boosted by taking it, you could even feel dizziness and would able to lift even a pin. In conclusion, marijuana may offer certain benefits such as pain relief and relaxation that could support muscle building endeavors, its effects on exercise performance, recovery, and overall health must be carefully weighed. Our responses to marijuana is very different, and chronic could be very bad for you. I have no say in your business, so you could decide use or not. But make sure shouldn't be excess. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We got several other videos in our channel. Choose the left or right video and enjoy.